Hello and welcome to the part 4 on Azure Web App Series. In today's session, we'll see how to restrict access to your application from virtual network or from a specific IP address. If you've been following our track, we have deployed our application with the name Mahadev.com. And the way it is configured right now, anyone can come, type in the URL, and they can access this application from any device or from any IP address, basically. And we're going to change it. We're going to give access only from specific IP addresses and specific virtual network. So let me go to the portal. This is the application right now. And if I go and uh, open the URL, you can see I'm able to access this from my local machine without any problem. So let's go back to the portal. And from the left plate, if I can go into settings and networking, the reason that is happening is because access restriction is set to right now off. And if I go and expand this, when you create your web application by default, it creates a rule for you. And the rule is that priority is one and it allows access from everywhere, right? And from any source and the action, as you can see, is green check marked. We're going to change it. So let's go and click on add rule. And before I do that, let me just go and search for my IP address. Now this is my IP address. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to make the changes so that I'm not able to access this from my local machine. So at this stage I'm going to give the rule name R2, the action going to be deny. I'm going to give the priority 100 and uh, you can give a description. You can pick the source setting IPv4 or IPv6. I'm going to pick V6 and uh, input my IP address with slash 32 and click on add rule. So you can see the rule was added successfully and you also notice something that uh, my default rule, the priority of that one is, has changed. Now if I go back to my application and refresh the page you can see that i'm getting the error which is okay that is what we have configured that rule for right but let's go even further now in my environment i have a machine a virtual machine within azure virtual network with the name mahadev vm i want to create a rule so that anybody who is in this virtual network in which this machine is which is uh, Mahadev VNet, they should be able to access this application. So if I'm able to, if I'm logged into this machine, right, and I try to access this application, I should be able to do that. So let's go and uh, check that out. So let me go back to my Azure portal and let's go and add the rule. I'm going to give it R2. The action going to be allow in this case, and I'm going to give the priority this 99 right lower the priority it's got residence and say allow from Mahadev VM under the type I'm going to pick virtual network and the virtual network under which that machine is Mahadev virtual network and the subnet is default let's go and add the rule here the rule was added successfully. Now, if I just copy my URL of my web application, let's see if I'm able to access from this machine. Here we go. No problem. I'm able to access this from this virtual network, but not from my local machine, right? Now let's go back to the portal. And now what I want to do is I want to add another rule. I'm going to name this say R3. And the action going to be allow still. I'm going to give the priority say 98 and allow from anywhere. Right, and let's say the type is IPv4. I'm going to give the address block 0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. Right, so basically this means that you can access it from anywhere. But remember my priority of this rule is 98. Let's see what happens. Let's go and click on add the rule because uh, in priority number 100, we said that uh, 
uh, the person won't be able to access from this local machine, right? We added that uh, specific IP address, my public IP address. But now if I go to my web application and uh, I'm accessing this from my local machine back. And if I change, if I refresh the page, now you can see that uh, I'm able to access. Now this is how you're going to use uh, access restriction within the web app services within networking. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.